What's up guys? Today is Monday. That means it's Cornwell Monday. Did y'all notice what I said? Cornwell Monday? Because Joe's wearing a Cornwell shirt today. So anyway, let's go see what the old Cornwell Joe that's now the new Joe's All-Star Tools has for you guys today. Come on. Back, sporting the Cornwell shirt and a snap-on hat. Done signed a new contract with him, hasn't he? <laughs> he says he's gonna be the multi-dealer. He's gonna keep Cornwell, Snap-on, and Matco on here. It's a Mac. Who wore something like that another day? I told him. <laughs> he says, "You wearing that?" I says, "Yeah." I says, "I got a bunch of them." He says, "Would you wear a Matco uh, shirt or hat?" Turns out I am. Yeah. I told him, I says, I got enough, uh, I'm securing my uh, sexuality. I says, I can wear anything. And there he's got are. the shirt unbutton oh, showing the oh, chest hair oh, off oh, for the ladies. <laughs> do, we have to put, like, do we have to put X's on here, Joe? Be double X. Double uh, X. So anyways, you know, it's, a, it's Christmas time. It's time of giving and everything. But it's nice when people appreciate when you give to them. Yep. I think I mentioned that before. Uh, we did all that giveaway for, you know, all the fundraising for Pax and Nichols. Mm -hmm. They asked me for um, Ken Biddle's uh, address, you know, the guy that donated those wrenches we did chances on. You know, and we went, we raised that money for him because we were, but it turned out that was right the time when he needed braces. So, you know, he works in mysterious ways. That's right. So they sent him a big thank you letter, you know new picture of packs and all that stuff but he and his wife they're older and they're, they're, they decided that this year they uh they weren't going to give gifts to each other but they're going to find you know like a needy little boy or girl that right. wasn't going to have a christmas and they're going to give him a good christmas so they asked us to check uh you know if paxton's going to have a good christmas or not and it turns out He's going to do all right. So and I told him that. I says, you know, we appreciate it. So there's so many people that need something that, and I says, yeah, we, we just feel go find somebody else that, that's really deserving and do that. So you got to give it to, you know, credit people that do that. Yep. Um, and he's not doing it to take credit. He's just doing it. But anyways, so... Yep, I'm getting ready for putting on my Christmas Santa suit. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to wear that one, too. You're going to scare kids off. <laughs> are you going to button your Santa top button, <laughs> or are you going to leave it down a couple? <laughs> well, <laughs> what are you laughing at, Wallet? We, we, don't, we don't talk about Santa like that. We talk about Cornwall Joe like that, but not, not Santa. So anyways. <laughs> I'm having to bite my tongue. So anyways, yes. Um, Santa's going to be good. You like bad Santa over here. See ya. Um, but you want to be thankful. Remember last week when we le I left here, we were having them storms? Yep. I was going to be exactly at that spot in Guntown where that tornado hit. I mean, from the time I left here, mm -hmm. one of my customers moved somewhere just further down the road, and he calls me up says, hey, you got to come here. I'm like, okay, I go there. But I thought I knew where the place was. I went to some other place, called them up. I'm just a few miles away. I talked to these guys, and they're like, yeah, yeah, come back after after Christmas break and everything, and, you know, we won't, we don't need much, but come on back. And so I got directions. I, I went and drove there. I mean, it was minutes. And they had all left and gone home because of the storm. Or, well, actually, the tornadoes. And they, right. and they, they really were there. Um, but I got to that open, I got to that gate and it was locked. And I'm like, what the heck? I just talked to you guys. Yep. I turned around. It came down so hard. I'm going five, ten miles an hour and I can barely see ten feet in front of mm -hmm. me. I get past that. Oh, no, I'm in the eye of this. This is bad. But. So I get going, but I find out I would have been right there where that tornado was. I mean, that, that was just like something that just... I got called out of the way, and I guess I'd be thankful I got to a lock gate. There you go. Um, I haven't got to see them yet, but I'll be there later. Let them know they saved my life or whatever. But um, So anyways, 
We got some tools. Got some tools. We, we got some tools. tools. We got an easy red, long three eighths, mm -hmm. fine tooth, 72 tooth, lock in. Got them for 140 bucks. 140 bucks. Let's see how the lock works on this. I was got a push button. Oh, push button lock. Over here. Hmm. Wally, yes. you'd have a hard time unlocking that one. <laughs> Lord. Look at that contraption. I got a Vim. Yeah. It's a 3 8 inch, 3 8 8 inch double wobble. Double wobble. So it's got the wobble wobble. I see somebody's that forehead. That'll be like that. when we'll be up north and we find something to drink. We can double wobble it. Mm-hmm. Is it bucks. locking or no. no? It's just tight. You know what'll happen here, Wally? Some It'll come off. off and that thing's going to be rough when it yeah. does. Wait, this actually locks, too. Yeah, that ain't locked. No, that's, that's nice. Just so the socket don't fall. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. But uh, that this don't. don't. That's pretty nice. This is 40 bucks? 40 bucks. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. And another thing that was interesting. We were talking about those uh, 3 8 gear wrench sets. Somebody said they couldn't get their bits uh, warranted. Yeah. I've never had that problem. I pay more for my sets, but I go through a authorized gear wrench dealer. And every one of those bits that anybody's ever broke, I've always been able to get warranted. Right. So. There you go. You know. But the cheap as you're getting them. You can buy a couple sets, and that way when you break one, you can put one out of the other set and have one there. Right. Just buy uh, two if you're going to buy them cheap, huh? Yeah. But, uh, no, I mean, I've never had a problem with that, but that's the reason why I pay more. I don't buy them, Amazon, whatever, but um, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas, a great New Year. You see them people ringing bells, and they got them buckets out. Give Feel them free dollar. to jump in, sing with them. I did. There you that's go, Wally. Like, we could go to Walmart and film. Me. That's where you're wearing the Santa suit, so I can go visit him there. Oh, wow. Then we could we could go to Walmart. I know there's a bell ringer up there, and you could go ring their bell and sing with them. Wally. Do you have to sing the appropriate song? Yeah. Or can you modify it? So um, well, you got to sing Santa Claus is Coming. Oh. <laughs> Cut it right there. <laughs> Joe's, Batman Joe's mind's in the gutter, ain't it, Bill? Oh, it's in the gutter. All right, guys. I'm just saving, you know, Wally having to retract something. Yeah. Look down in the description. We got some cool tools, discount codes, all that good stuff. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button right down there. Because apparently we've got a fuel leak coming in because this guy keeps blowing my phone up. So you guys have a good one, and we will catch y'all next time. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.